Hello, this is Philip again and today I would like to show how to import data from MATLAB to Signal Plant. Please note that MATLAB must be installed on your computer. Let's start with a MATLAB. I have my project here and I would like to transfer to Signal Plant four biological signals saved in one variable. Uh, it's a variable named signal, it's here. It's a two-dimensional matrix containing 75,000 samples in four channels and it's of double precision. The easiest way to transfer data from this variable to signal plant is uh, just save it as a file. Let's do it. I will type save command and as argument the file name and now let's type the name of variable in our case it's the variable named signal okay uh, the file is now on hard drive and we can start signal plant and see what's inside this uh, new MATLAB file Go to menu and let's search it. There's a lot of files but the hour is here. And now the MATLAB instance is uh, starting. It can take some time. Alright, our variable was successfully recognized as a two-dimensional matrix of 75,000 samples and four channels. But uh, as you can see, we have no information about frequency or channel names or units used. We have to type sampling frequency manually here. We have samples loaded in four channels. Names are based on a variable name. In case of units, we didn't load any information about units. So when I show ruler and turn on amplitude values we cannot see any information about units so let's show another way in which we can transfer even channel names and units and sampling frequency from matlab to signal plant let's get back to matlab and create variable with the channel names Let's type the variable name and in our case the first channel is uh, ECG as well as the second channel. The third channel is uh, arterial blood pressure and the fourth channel holds uh, respiration. Okay, we have names and now units. We know that uh, ECG channel holds values in millivolts and the same applies also for the second channel. The third channel is in uh, millimeters of mercury and the last channel is in volume units. Variable for sampling frequency is already here. Let's save the new file with all of new variables. I will choose a different name for this one. Okay, and now add new variables. Add the sampling frequency, add channel names. Now it's good. And add units here. OK, type enter and the file is saved on hard drive. So let's get back to signal plant and let's look what will be inside the new file. Is this one? OK, and we can see that all variables were correctly recognized as a channel names or as units. Even the sampling frequency is there. So 
OK. And now we have everything inside. Well, now you know how to transfer data from MATLAB to SignalPlant and I wish you a beautiful day. Thank you for your attention.